Hi all, it's JK here with another video. This time it's the retirement cleanup. As I said, my tire pie's retired now, so now it's going to be thoroughly clean. Uh, I explained to my friend at the garage what I was doing with the car, and he explained to me you need to clean underneath the sill as well to get rid of all the crap. And I have done. So far today I've done two wheels, both rear. Uh, the other wheel is currently over there, and it's just had a bit of a clean with anti, uh, you know, alloy cleaner stuff over there, which seems pretty good. But as you can see, the carpet is clean, it's immaculate, and you know, if I run my finger on it, clean as a whistle, nothing there anymore. Uh, as you can see there, there's all the crappy mud that's come off, years and years of dirt, grime and salt. And as a result of that, it started rusting here, as you can see. So that's no problem, it's still solid, as you can see, nothing wrong with that. Uh, also, I found more work that needs doing. For example, my springs have started to uh, corrode. Uh, although that should be okay to leave as is for now, I think. I'll probably get, I doubt I could do it myself. I'd need a, a ramp, so I'll get that done. But the link, as you can see there, there's a link that I had done on my MOT a few months ago. Very straightforward to do. And not there and not at the back and it comes off and then you can replace it. But the one on my other side, uh, is gone, it's completely shot. So that needs replacing, and that's the job I can do myself. Just using the tire jack by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, so that's all I've done today. I've done the other side, as I say. Taking it very slowly, you know, there's no rush, particularly now the car's retired. Same rust problem there, as you can see. Nice clean carpet, bit of grass, and that's it, really. As I've said, I've used the, the alloy cleaner on here. My wheels aren't perfect, but it's got rid of a lot of the grime. I'll proper clean the wheels when I do the body next week. So yeah, I'm doing this one day at a time. As you can see, what's outstanding is a good polish and teacup. And then she's retired. So yeah, there you go. And just for uh, just so you know, I basically got a super guard kit with the car when it was new. I've been using that stuff. And it seems pretty good. Super wheels. So yeah, with my Golf, I've got a Guard X. It's called Guard X now. So I don't, it's the same thing. I don't know if it's the same company, but same thing. And uh, yeah, there you go. Cleaning on the way. And the thing is, to take it slowly and steady. So if you have got a Type R and you have, you're doing the same as me, you, you're keeping it. Make sure you clean everywhere. You've got to clean underneath it, underneath the sills. I mean. Under here, around there, there was loads of mud, you know, it's completely clean now, but caked in mud and salt. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Cleaning in progress, and next week it will be the body, weather permitting. And if ever you're wondering, are birds attracted to Type R's? Yes, they are. They seem to be crapping all over the line like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> so, they can enjoy it while they can, because soon the could all be on it. Okay, cheers.